All right, making a video about this new battery that I was sent by Humsink, and I have to tell you, I think this is one of the best budget batteries available at this point in time. I'll flash on the side, you know, some of the features of it here, but um, it arrived in pretty good condition. You can see it was packaged well. Uh, Could have used a little bit of extra foam maybe around the edges. I'll show you in a second. It had a little bit of shipping damage, but it came with... It's a wall mount battery, came with mounting brackets, off camp, and some really beautiful cables uh, with that new style clip-on connector on them and mounting bolts and, you know, everything that you need to get it hung on a cement wall. I had to provide my own for uh, the wood wall. I'll show you, but this is what it looks like. This is how it came packaged. It was a 125-pound box, so it is quite a uh, heavy battery and it's out of the box now it does have some feet stands up some handles for picking it up and um really nicely made uh, the new style terminals on there um really nice solid you know feet that would stand up on its own if you don't want to wall mount it everything looks pretty good on it um it came pretty good except for one little spot here it looks like fedex dropped the box i mean it was a 125 pound box and the guy that dropped it off just wasn't that strong so you know stuff like that happens i guess but that's what it looks like um it's got all the communications cables uh your all well, your hookups for your batteries and a circuit breaker built into it also Comes with a nice uh, communications cable if you want to parallel two batteries. I'll show you that in a little while. And comes with two cables that are, I think they're number two gauge, um, 2,000 volt wire, about a meter and a half long. So there's brackets that came with it for mounting it. Um, let's turn it on, take a quick first look at it. And you can see it's at about uh, 58%. It came shipped at, and it does have a really responsive touch screen on it there. And got several features, you know, you can check all your cell voltages and um, errors and alarms. And so it is a, really a nice responsive touch screen. You just barely have to touch it at the chart over time, I guess, that you'll um, build up. And there's your communication setting page. So that's uh, pretty much what it looks like. So now let's open it up and uh, take a look inside. Now this is supposed to be a waterproof, dustproof battery that could be mounted outdoors. And it does have screws going in all around the edge. And take them out and face pops right off. And there is a uh, insulator below that to protect the cell should it get you know, damage in shipping or anything like that. Let's remove that and look at it. And boy, what a thing of beauty. They did a nice job on this. Um, it is soldered or welded. Uh, the lugs look like they're probably laser welded, I think. Um, you know, all the screws are nice and torqued and they do have some of that fluid on them that kind of locks them in place. Uh, there's the temperature sensors uh, spread randomly throughout the uh, packs. And there are 16 cells here, and these are supposed to be grade A plus cells. I don't know the manufacturer. Um, everything is bust, really wired beautifully. You can see nothing is jammed in there or kinked or anything else. Um, even those output cables there, you can see they've got buses between the two connectors. Um, you know, bus pretty much everything has nice buses on it and a decent sized wire communications board bms i think it's a proprietary one i do not know who makes it and there's a nice steel frame everything's enclosed in a steel cage uh clamped together and then dropped down in the box here and the box does not have any screws penetrating the outside so i guess it is uh, water waterproof to a point um nice looks like g11 epoxy glass all around the outside of it and there's also pieces in between the batteries there to insulate them so you know really it's a beautiful build for um right now they're an introductory price of about 650 dollars 
The only thing I'm a little confused about is that standoff there behind that. Um, if that's going to move or if it's slotted or something like that, if things should expand. But they're, um, like I said, they're about $650 introductory price right now with a 5% discount. So just a little bit over $600. So I don't think you'll find a better battery for the price. Uh, I know that price is going to go up soon. So, uh, you know, you might, if you're interested in something like this, you might want to jump on it. Because look, I mean, you can see the build quality on it. Everything is uh, really done nice. Um... I, like I said, don't know about the BMS or the manufacturer, the cells, but the quality, uh, you know, it's there. And um, I do not have the proper equipment to do the testing on it. But for this price, I'm not really going to worry if it's uh, 100 amp hours or 99.5 amp hours. But there is a seal around there when your cover goes on. So pretty much relying on a little bit of compression from the screws around the side so i'm not sure how you know actually waterproof that is but i'm not going to test it so i'll put it back together got the went and downloaded the app from the play store found the battery this is like the easiest one i've installed yet just you know came right up um uh, came at 58 percent and we'll look at the app a little better later but you know it's pretty much uh gives you everything you need to monitor the battery and this is a blue a bluetooth app um i think it does have wi-fi but i'm not sure about that now the communications ports i'm not going to set them up now i don't have a inverter free that uses them but uh, they plug they plug right in if you're going to parallel the battery you just uh, plug this in one and then you plug the other one this is a link out and the other one's a link in so that they talk to each other. So it does come with that cable. And also, like I said, it's got those new style um, power connectors on it. So to mount it on the wall, it's really easy. It just uh, comes with two brackets and some screws. Uh, everything's included with it. And you just put these two hooks on. Kind of like putting up a closet made rack almost. You screw them on, and there's a little spacer to keep it from just uh, swinging in air. That leans up against the wall once it's in place. And that just has two screws in. There's a mounting bracket I'm going to be putting on the wall. And then two little screws go in from the ends just to lock it in place so it can't shake off. So I decide I'm going to mount this on the wall underneath my uh, power tray there. And this is going to run a uh, second inverter for the heat in my shed here, this little room. Uh, finding that once it starts getting down in the 20s and stuff and not a lot of sun during the day, uh, you don't get a lot of heat in there out of the other inverter. So I'm just going to uh, put a couple solar panels on this and uh, run another inverter and use it to run my heater. I'll show you in a second. Now, this battery is heavy. Uh, this is well over 100 pounds. So, you know, this is, I had a hard time fighting with it, but I got it up there. But I would recommend you get a couple people if you're going to, you know, put these up or some kind of a lifting cart. But once you do, it just, you know, once you get that bracket up, it uh, just locks right in there and sets in and uh, really nice fit. So, no shaking or wobbling or anything two screws to lock it in place and there it is ready to go now i'm going to use a charger on this first to get it fully charged and i will actually leave it you know in there too uh, that's something like if you want to use this for a backup system you could charge it and just uh you know not need solar panels too but um hooking it up to a 3000 watt inverter that i had this is the one i was using out in the garage and I'm going to charge it up with the um, this 58.4 volt battery charger. So that's uh, pretty much what it looks like. A nice clean install. I like how the cables can be run around behind it, and you know nothing sticking out. No no hot power terminals or anything. Uh, cables were about a meter and a half long. Reached the inverter way over here, so that was a good thing. And I've. Uh, you know, I just kind of got my charger mounted there, and you can see my uh, solar controller is right there. So I'll be hooking up to 450-watt uh, panels to this to keep this charged. 
So next morning, sun's out a little bit, and I'm going to charge this up on solar. So I've got this uh, charger here running on my solar system, my 12, XP1200. And the battery overnight, uh, it actually dropped down to 57%. I'm actually finding that these batteries, all of the ones that I have, do drift down a little bit at night if over every day if you have them turned on. Uh, if you don't want them to drift down, turn them off. But and get some sun there, so uh, starting to get some some charge power here. Sun's coming up. We've had like a, a dozen cloudy days, so I haven't uh, really made a lot of solar lately. So a couple hours later, it's all charged up 100%. Um, it's gone into the balancing mode. Uh, differential voltage actually balanced out at 0 0.0. Zero two in the end. No, no alarms or anything else. Um, everything looks good. There's charge, discharge, and there's other, you know, alarms here. If anything goes wrong, and then the settings in there for the battery. Like you can change some of these. I'll show you. I like to use forty two percent for the um, under voltage. So I'm just going to put in 42 there, and I had to hit it a couple times, but it did update. So, you know, it allows you to make certain things. You really don't want to change these, so, but I just wanted to show you. And while that was charging, I did get the uh, charge controller all wired up and stuff. So we're pretty much getting ready to go once I get the panels hooked up. Okay, inverter fryer is up, no problem. And uh, battery seems good. I'm going to be running this heater in here to keep my shed warm once it starts getting down in below zero temperatures. And this is a smart switch for my smart things in the house that I'm running on. And I do have uh, two temperature sensors in here. This one here activates the, um, the heater. And this one here is just for monitoring up on the other side. Thought I'd show you. I haven't seen done a video, but I finished up my uh, shed here. I got some. Uh, I put some steel roofing up there in the ceiling there. Got the insulation all done. I've been running two months on uh, quite a mix of batteries here. They tell you don't do this, but I tell you what, I'm having really good luck with it. And I did pick up a couple of those Beaver rack batteries. I'll be doing a video about eventually, but. Um, you know, everything's done. Got a little cabinet in there to uh, store my tools and stuff and paperwork and everything else. And a little bit of trim work to do around the door yet. I've got it all foamed in. So it is staying nice and warm in here. And I did build the window frame with a piece of quarter-inch plexiglass as a, uh, you know, a secondary window, a storm-type window. So, uh, you know, I just wanted to show you this battery, and if it's something that you're interested in for some kind of an off-grid setup, I think it's an amazing buy. And I'll be doing some updates after I run it for a while and cycle it a couple times and just see how it reacts. But, you know, you can see for yourself here that really is a um, real nice looking battery on hanging on the wall there if you just want one or two batteries and a small backup system. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.